Hey, this is Dennis. It's Tuesday. I want to get back in the Bible study. We're in the book of Acts. We're going to start with chapter 16, verse 1. And I just want to tell you right up front, some of these words are, to me, difficult to pronounce. I'll do my best. Then came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus, the son of a certain woman, which was a Jewish. His mother was a Jew and believed she was a Jewish Christian. But his father was a Greek, which was well reported of by the brethren that were at Lystra and Iconium. Him would Paul have to go with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in those quarters. For they knew all that his father was a Greek. I just found this ironic and interesting that just the last few pages back there, they were telling the Tell them that they didn't need to be circumcised to be saved. But Paul takes the guy and gets him cir circumcised. And as they went through the cities, they delivered them the decree for to keep that were ordained of the apostles and the elders which were at Jerusalem. <laughs> and so were the churches established in faith and increase and in numbers daily. Now, when they had gone through out Pergia in the region of Galatia and were forbidden by the Holy Ghost to preach the word in Asia. Now, I thought that was interesting. So it says here they were forbidden by the Holy Ghost to preach in Asia. My thought was, how did the Holy Ghost get it across to him? Was it like an audible voice or? I don't know, but anyhow, the Holy Ghost didn't want them preaching in Asia at that time. After they were come to Messiah, they arranged to go into Bethania, but the Spirit suffered them not. And they passed him by Messiah, came down to Troas. Man, they had some tough names back then. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and praying him, asking him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision, immediately endeavor to go into Macedonia, assuredly gathering that the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. All righty, well, God bless y'all. I hope y'all have a good day. Walk with God one day at a time. Bye-bye.